Hello, I'm Jason with the Northwest African American Museum, and welcome to Storytime. Today we're going to be reading Where's Rodney? It's a story by Carmen Bogan and illustrated by Floyd Cooper. Rodney was inside, but he wanted to be outside. Outside is where Rodney always wanted to be. So let's go ahead and read this story together. Rodney, where is Rodney? Once again, Rodney wasn't in his seat, and Miss Garcia had had enough. But Rodney had interesting things to do, like watch a big black bird soar over the cafeteria that smelled like yesterday's lunch, or catch a tiny pill bug creeping across the windowsill. He stood on his tippy toes to find the stray dog that bullied the neighborhood. Rodney was inside, but he wanted to be outside. Outside was where Rodney always wanted to be. Miss Garcia let out a long, deep breath. She stepped behind Rodney and tapped him on the shoulder. Rodney, join the class. The word of the week is majestic, Miss Garcia said. Majestic. Can you tell us what it means? Rodney looked around the classroom. There were a million eyes looking at him. Nope. Miss Garcia took another deep breath. Rodney balanced on one foot like a pink flamingo. Sue Lynn giggled and covered her mouth. Then he hopped in the air like a cricket. Cody chuckled. Then Rodney stretched out his arms like an eagle, soaring high above the... Sit down, Rodney, Miss Garcia said. The whole class roared with laughter. Okay, majestic means grand and beautiful. Rodney, if you can't do your work, you won't be able to go on the field trip to the park on Friday. But Rodney didn't care. He knew all about the park. It was a small, triangle-shaped patch of yellow grass next to the corner store and the bus stop. It had one large cardboard trash can and two benches where some grown-ups sat all day long. Yes, Rodney knew the park well. Anyway, Mama said to stay far away from that park. When the three o'clock bell rang, Rodney ran outside. He darted across the street past Miss Jackson, the crossing guard. Walk, she yelled, but he ran. He ran past the corner store. He ran past the bus stop. Then he ran past the triangle-shaped patch of yellow grass and the two benches and the broken gate where the bully dog slept. Now he could see Mama peeping out the window. She opened up the door and gave him a big hug. I'm glad you're inside, she said. But outside is where Rodney wanted to be. Very early on Friday, the old yellow bus squeaked, jerked, and rattled out of the school parking lot, even before it reached the front gate. Sue Lynn and Amina were singing and playing clapping games. Everyone was excited, but not Rodney, and he knew that when they got to the park, they would all see that he was right. Parks are no big deal. The bus turned the corner onto Second Street, but Rodney thought that the bus driver must be lost because he drove past the bus stop, past the corner store, and even past the patch of yellow grass. Sue Lynn and Amina kept singing and clapping. The old bus rumbled, rolled, and creaked farther and longer than Rodney had ever been. Rodney gazed out the window. He stared at the white lines in the middle of the great highway. He counted the big trucks that passed the bus. He leaned to see the birds float above the fields of tall, dry grass. He watched the people in wide straw hats, picking fruits and vegetables in neat rows. The old bus clanked and coughed and choked. It climbed higher and higher until a great mountain swallowed it whole. At the other end of the tunnel, the mountain spit out the old bus into a flash of sunshine. No one laughed, no one talked, and no one wiggled. Sue Lynn and Amina even stopped singing. Look, everyone, Miss Garcia announced. It's the park. And finally, Rodney was outside. At the park, he was higher. He was lower. 
He was bigger. He was smaller. He was louder. He was quieter. He was faster. He was slower. Rodney was outside, more outside than he had ever been before. Then the sun sank in the sky. It was time to leave. Some of the children chattered and giggled. Some munched on leftovers. Others dozed. Sue Lynn and Amina sang more songs. Where's Rodney, Miss Garcia asked. Rodney was sitting quietly, gazing out the window. Miss Garcia sat beside him. Do you like the park, Rodney? Oh yes, he said, it's majestic. It looks like Rodney finally got to be outside where he really wanted to be. Thanks for joining us today and we'll see you next time.